Hey, what's going on guys? Easy Tech 231 here. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at every Galaxy Note 7 case that you can get from Speakin with the exception of two. I'm missing two of them and one of them is actually pretty much one of these cases just with one small modification. Uh, but I will put every link to every case in the description so make sure you check them out i'll be giving you guys the prices and the different colors that you can give them in and all the information that you need on them so uh yeah let's go ahead and get into the first case all right so the first case on hand is the thin fit this is pretty much your most basic case that you can get especially from speaking this one costs about 11 dollars um it's made out of polycarbonate um in other words it's pretty much just hard plastic and uh, it's just going to protect from scratches uh, nothing crazy as far as drop protection goes in fact i would not trust this case uh for drop protection that is for sure but if you're looking for something that guard against scratches from the sides and the back this is totally fine and this is what you're gonna to want to be able to use for this phone so you can get this case in a number of different colors I'll flash them up on the screen right here so yeah this is definitely for the minimalist out there um, it actually leaves the buttons exposed so you don't have anything covering that so you don't have to worry about the button press being any different um, and the bottom there you do get access to your ports and everything down there so it's not that bad of a case I personally would not even use it because I'm too afraid that if I drop it then that's the end of it pretty much but again if you're looking for something that just protects your phone from little tiny bumps and scratches and stuff like that then this is definitely the case that you're going to want to check out all right so next up we have the liquid crystal this is also for the minimalists out there this is a very basic case just like the last one this is going to protect from scratches and bumps and small things like that definitely not a drop protection case um and this is also great for those of you that have skins on the back of your phone just like i do here on my note 7 so if you still want to see the skin on the back of your phone this is a great case to get um and you're not necessarily looking for drop protection so this is a great case here this one also goes for eleven dollars um, it looks pretty clean um i can still see the design of my phone which is great and uh, it adds a little bit of grip to the phone as well and it just looks super clean uh so this is a great case to get again for the minimalist out there who's not looking for necessarily drop protection just scratch and bump protection so this is the liquid crystal all right so next up we're taking a look at one of my favorites this is the rugged armor um and this one i've actually been using on my oneplus 3 even my note 5 and my nexus 6 piece so um, it's really really nice and i do like the design that it has going on here it only comes in one color you can get it for 14 dollars. it has a really nice carbon fiber look on the bottom and on the top here which is really nice not only is it nice and thin so it's not gonna bulk up your phone or anything like that it also has the military grade drop protection so it has been tested by spigen and uh, i know i can really trust my phone with this case uh, so that's really cool so overall it's just a really basic case uh, you don't really have to worry about it sliding out of your hand it can be a little slick uh, but overall it does add a good amount of grip um, it, it's really nice case actually my sister has this for no her note 5 um, and she really likes the case as well um, but for 14 bucks you really can't go wrong with uh, with this case here it is a tpu material but it is texturized and it's just really really nice it's one of those cases that you have to have for every phone that you get at least that's the deal for me and i really like this case a lot um, you do have covered buttons here um, but don't worry about it they're really easy to press as you don't have to worry about putting in any extra force to press the buttons it works just fine so in my opinion this is one of those must-have cases this is a case that you can use for pretty much anything if you're going out to dinner this case is cool for that because it actually looks really nice low profile not boom in your face type case or anything like that but it's also good for just going to the store or going to the gym or something like that so overall the rugged armor is definitely a favorite of mine and it's highly recommended all right so next up we're looking at the ultra hybrid this is kind of like the two previous cases mixed up into one this one comes in at $18 um, and you have the TPU um, on the back here for the clear look and then you also have the polycarbonate protection on the outside it actually still has the film on here check this out Woo! check out how clear that is now you can get this in multiple colors and this is definitely one of those hybrid cases hence the name um, it's definitely a really nice all-around case so if you actually want some drop protection but you also want it to look nice clean and minimal and you also want to still see the skins that you have on the back of your device then this is definitely the one to get it adds a great amount of grip the buttons are really easy to press and everything here just feels really nice and solid nice and rugged but at the same time it just looks nice and clean you know it's not one of those big bulky cases that you see everybody running around with nowadays um, all the cutouts on the bottom easily accessible buttons like i said before are really easy to press and it does have a little bit of a lip uh, raised above the sides here just a 
little bit so you can kind of use it or you just place it down there and you don't have to worry about it scratching or anything like that uh, so that is nice but overall this is a great case um, i would definitely recommend this one as well minimalist and drop protection this is the best of both worlds all right so next up we have what should be the ultra hybrid s this is actually the ultra hybrid but what separates it from the ultra hybrid s is that there should be a kickstand here and that's where these come in. These are also uh, things that you can get from Spigen. These are uh, separate kickstands that you can apply to pretty much anything. Um, and I've actually applied one here to my Nexus 6P case from Spigen. Uh, this case normally doesn't come with this kickstand, but I applied one of these that you can get from their site on here and it works really, really well. So if you wanted to stand up your phone, uh, but it doesn't have a kickstand, then you can apply one of these. It has 3M tape on the other side. You just peel it and you stick it on the phone case, on the phone if you wanted to, or anything like that. Uh, so that's pretty much what the Ultra Hybrid S is. It's the Ultra Hybrid with the kickstand. I also wanted to show you guys this case because I wanted to show you guys how clear it is when you get it when it's brand new. Just check this out. And of course, I just had to dirty it up with my fingerprints as soon as I get the plastic off. Nice. Still looks cool, nonetheless. All right, so next up we have the crystal shell. This one comes in at 18 bucks, um, and this one is very similar to the previous cases, but this one actually has even more protection uh, with a bumper added to each corner of the case, which is crazy, it's awesome. It has that military grade drop protection, which is awesome, and it's clear, so you can still see the skin if you do have one on your phone. If not, you can still see the nice back of your phone because without a skin, the Galaxy Note 7 has a really nice looking back. So um, other than that, it's a very basic case. All the button presses are really nice and uh, clear. This is actually a text I got. I sent out a text that said, so how are you liking the new Galaxy Note 7? My friend got a new Note 7 and he's loving it. So shout out to Jordan Pickett, by the way. Uh, but uh, yeah, the buttons are really easy to press and uh, yeah, all the cutouts are easily accessible, but super rugged, super solid case and it does add a good amount of grip so i do like that and i mean i mean yeah it's gonna protect your phone oh shoot i broke it i'm <laughs> just kidding it's all good i was just kidding um but yeah it's really nice really rugged and uh, it's definitely one of my favorite speaking cases so definitely check out the crystal show all right so next up we have the slim armor and we're moving into uh some beefier territory i know it says slim armor but we're getting a little thicker here with the cases this one actually has a built-in kickstand which is really nice um and we're looking at dual layered protection here so we're looking at a solid nice nice thick tpu material here and then the hard polycarbonate on the outside so you're getting double the protection here with this case which is great so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the note 7 in this case here and while it does add some bulk it does add a good amount of protection it's actually not that thick at all um and feels really good in the hand and uh, yeah it has that kickstand on the back so you can prop it up watch a few youtube videos catch up on some easy tech 231 now taking a look at the sides here, pretty much everything is covered and you do get some protection here for when you place it down, face down on a table or something like that. Um, the buttons are covered here completely, but the button press isn't too bad. It's a little more subtle than it's not very clicky at all, um, but uh, you can still notice the click and it feels good. Nothing wrong there. Uh, but overall, if you're looking for a solid case that's going to give you military drop uh, military grade drop protection um then this is definitely the one to get and it's not going to give you a whole bunch of bulk either it's actually very slim hence the name slim armor this one comes in at 22 bucks and you can grab it in a number of different colors next up we have the wallet s as the name suggests and as you could probably tell this is a wallet style case now this one is really nice here you have faux leather and a polycarbonate material here um it's really nice for overall protection uh, for drop protection, it's not actually going to be that bad, um, but I really wouldn't trust it that much for drop protection. Um, although it does have kind of like the lips here of the uh, actual sides kind of sticking out there. So if you drop it like that, it's actually not going to be that bad. It's not really going to impact the phone all that much. Uh, but if you're looking for drop protection, this is not the case that I would def that I would recommend. Uh, so, uh, but other than that, this is a really nice casual looking case uh, for the weekends if you're going out or something like that. Um, it's really really nice. It's got a magnetic clip here and. And what I did notice is that it has the speaker opening right there so you can still use the phone and talk on it while the case is still closed. So that's pretty cool. And one thing that I did notice as well is that there's open, there's an opening right here, right around where the home button would normally be. Uh, so that's really interesting so that um, when the phone is like in your pocket or something, you're not going to be able to press the home button and waste your battery life or anything like that. 
Of course, the main selling point of this case is the wallet part of it, where you can stick in some cards, you know, credit card, debit card, gift cards, whatever, and some cash in here, some photos, whatever you want. Uh, but don't put too many things in here, otherwise you won't be able to close the case. Uh, but other than that, you can fit a good amount of things in here, um, pretty much everything that you would need. And uh, yeah, it holds it all together really nicely with this magnetic clip here. And I do like how the case looks itself. You can grab it for 22 bucks. It's definitely recommended if you're looking to make two things into one. All right, so next up we have the tough armor, and this is kind of the big brother to the slim armor. It's pretty much the same concept here, except this one is a little thicker and it's a little stronger at the same time. Yes, this is definitely a much beefier case, but as you can see here, it actually doesn't add that much bulk. It's not huge, it's not in the way, and it's not difficult to hold the phone. Of course, I do have larger hands, uh, but uh, you know, other than that, it's gonna protect your phone all around and it's, it's super solid. Um, the edges here really make for uh, an easier uh, hold in the hand, which is nice. Um, the button press is a little harder uh, than the slim armor, but uh, it's not difficult by any means. I don't really have to put in any extra effort to get the button to press or anything like that. Um, the cutouts here at the bottom, they're a little deeper in there, nothing too crazy. Um, but if you have like L-shaped headphones, uh, L-shaped jack on your headphones, then it might be a little more difficult to get that in there. Um, but other than that, this is a super, super rugged case. You can grab it in a number of different colors and you can get it for $26. Now there is one other case that I'm missing. It is called the Crystal Hybrid. It's pretty much a mix of some of the other cases that I've shown you guys in this video. Um, I kind of would like to get my hands on this. So Spigen, if you're watching, hook your boy up. All right, so second to last, we have the Neo Hybrid Crystal. This one is also gonna give you military grade drop protection, but at the same time, it's still gonna make your phone look pretty darn cool. The back here is still transparent, um, so you can just go ahead and stick your Galaxy Note 7 up in here, and there you go. Now, I really like the look that the case gives this phone here. You can get this in a number of different colors. You can get in like blue, black, and gold, um, pink even. And as you can see here, I have the silver, uh, but it just really gives the, the Note 7 a really nice look. You can still see the back here, which is really nice, and then you have the colored band here. So dual layered protection, which is really, really nice. I do like that. The buttons are really, really easy to press. Um, it gives a really nice reassuring click. Now on the bottom here, as you can probably tell, the cutouts are really deep within the case because it's it's dual layered. Excuse me for the stutter. Um, uh, so headphones and uh, charging cables are gonna be a little more difficult to get in there because of the dual layers. So that's just one thing that I would look out when looking to get this case. Um, other than that, it adds a really nice amount of grip. You don't have to worry about drop about dropping it because it's got that military grade drop protection. You don't have to worry about it scratching up your display when it's face down on a table or anything like that. So overall, this case is really nice. Let's go ahead and do the S Pen test because I know some people are worried with the dual layered and the S Pen. You can still really get it out really easily. So there you go. Like I said before, you can get it in a number of different colors and you can grab it for just 26 bucks. All right, so last but most certainly not least is the ever so popular Neo Hybrid. Now, if you're not looking to get a whole bunch of cases from Speed and you're just trying to get one of them just to do everything, this is the one that you want to get. It's got everything. You've got that military grade certification here so you don't have to worry about drops. It's dual layered. Um, it, it looks fantastic. I, I mean, I just got to bring this up to the camera. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That just looks sick. I love it. You can get it in a number of different colors. You can get it in the silver that I have here. You can get it in a gunmetal gray. Uh, I believe a blue color as well to match the blue coral note seven. And you can also get it in gold. This is pretty much a legendary case right here. It's been a favorite of many for a very long time. Um, they put out some great Neo hybrid iterations for other phones out there uh, in the years past. Uh, but this is a really great case and I love it, especially for the Note 7. I love the polycarbonate and TPU material combination here. It's really a great case and it's probably my favorite out of all the Spigen cases. So if I had to choose one case to get from Spigen, this would definitely be the one to get. You can get it in a number of different colors and it's only gonna cost you 26 bucks. But in terms of overall value, I think this is the top one because it not only makes your phone look awesome, it not only looks great, but it's gonna offer you awesome protection. So that pretty much does it for all these speaking cases that I could get my hands on for the Note 7. Um, also, we have these awesome little kickstands here that you can buy separately as well to apply to your other cases or to your phone itself. Uh, so that pretty much does it for the video, guys. Again, links to these cases will be down below in the description. That pretty much does it for the video. That does it for me. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to smack that like button, comment your thoughts on these cases, which ones you're going to get and which one is your favorite. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at EasyTech231. I'll be doing more videos like this. Uh, so yeah, that pretty much does it. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.